Charlie Cushane here to do another truck camper mod. This time we're going to do something we've wanted for a long time and that's add an external USB port so when we're sitting out here at our table and chairs when we're boondocking all the time we can charge our phones and tablets. So let's get started. So most of the time when my wife and I are boondocking, we'll be sitting in our chairs right here under the awning with the slide out here. She'll be using her tablet, I'll be using my phone. And there is an outlet right under here, a 120 volt outlet. Of course, that's useless when you're boondocking, you know power. So I originally thought I would buy one of these outlets with the USB ports, but of course it works on 110. So this would be useless to install as well. So the next best bet was I actually bought a USB charging port. And there's two USB ports. I'm going to install it under this slide out right next to this outlet. And that will allow us when we're boondocking to take any USB cord, plug in and we can charge our phones or tablets. So let me show you the outlet I have here where I'm gonna place this. As you can see under the slide out, I have this nice 110 outlet. And like I say, I was going to replace it with this, but that wouldn't have worked. So now I'm replacing it with this USB port as two 2.4 amp chargers. And my goal is to put it right in line with this right here and hook it up to the power the 12 volt power that's coming. So it should be a quick and simple install. I just got to drill a hole and some mounting screws. Using a 1 and 5 16 Fostner bit, I was able to drill a nice clean hole all the way through the floor and then was able to take the actual USB device and do a test fit and it fit perfect. Before mounting the USB port, I solder extension leads onto the device to make it easier to connect to the RV. And this is a great way to add hink shriek tubing and solder all at the same time. Okay, now it's time to mount this. Before I do, I want to put a little silicone caulk on there so no water has a chance there we go just to be sure I'll put a little silicone in these holes clean off the excess. Perfect. Now we have to do the wiring on the inside. Okay, we're looking for 12 volt power in the bottom of the refrigerator, which is in the slide, and here it is. 12 volts DC, and the wires go that way. Let's get the meter out and check it. Okay, inside the slide, in my the back of my refrigerator, there is a 12 volt DC hookup right here. And this yellow and white wire go that way into the compartment I want to be in. So to test, I'm actually checking my meter. There we go. It's that's what the batteries are at, 14 and a half. So I know the white wire is the negative and the yellow wire that you see here is the positive. So let's follow that wire inside. 
Okay, so here we are on the inside. Here's the kitchen. Down below. That's where the actual hole came through. You see the wires. And down here, there's the wires. So we got to hook that wire to that yellow and white one in the back. So let's do that. To complete the wiring to the camper, I'm hooking the black wire from the USB port to the yellow wires of the camper, which are all positives. And I'm using a crimp connector so that it's a very robust connection and won't come apart. And then I'll do the same with the two white wires to the red wire of the um, USB ports. Well, the project is all done. I have the nice two USB ports right there. And just sitting out here in boondocking, I take my cord and I simply plug it in and it starts charging. Perfect. Now we can boondock and use our phones. Please remember to like and subscribe.